Obviously, when you buy a folding phone like this, it has the ability to transform, to go from a normal phone to a much larger canvas. You are doing so because this larger canvas allows you to do more things or perhaps different things altogether. In this video, I'm going to go over a handful, I haven't actually counted these, so my top whatever, I have it in the title maybe, apps that I think work really, really well on large screens like this. Now, this is not specific to the Pixel Fold. You could apply this to the Z Fold as well. You could just rotate your Z Fold like this and you're going to see the exact same experience that you are seeing in this video in regard to the Pixel Fold. That is to say, generally speaking, there is actually, I think, one item on this list that is not quite on anything but the Pixel Fold just yet. So we'll start there to get it out of the way and that is Google's weather application. If you open this thing up, I absolutely love how this thing looks. It is my favorite weather app on the market right now. Unfortunately, it's only on the Pixel Fold. I do hope that later on it arrives on some other devices as well because it's just really pretty. It looks great on the larger screen. Lots of information, just a really solid app. For note taking, we have something like Google Keep, which does look and work really well on this device. You can jump in and see your notes over here and the specific note on this side. It's also about to, if not, maybe it's already gotten a pretty big update to add lots of different formatting options as well. So Google Keep is a really solid one as well. If you want something that's a bit more feature rich though, something like OneNote is also really good. You can see how well you can organize things here as well. And of course, tons of formatting options, tables, all sorts of great stuff can be used in OneNote. And both of those apps do sync to your other devices. For a news app, Google News. You're gonna hear a lot of Google apps here because Google's done what they needed to do and they've updated a lot of their apps to look great on larger screens. But Google News does a really good Good job here of just taking advantage of the added screen real estate. And you can see here that it does jump straight into these news articles, nice and easy, great layout, really quick. Another app that is maybe a bit similar to that, but more customizable is Feedly. It's something that I use all the time. You can set custom more or less RSS feeds and you can use not just websites, but also subreddits and things like that to pull, to aggregate all this information into one screen. And I have it set to actually open up into my external browser. I use this thing every day, probably about 15 times a day to keep up with all of the news going on in the tech world. And if you go through and don't see anything that's really of, of note to you, you can mark them as red, clear it out. I'll see you next time. How about Google Maps? This is another great one on these large screens. We'll zoom into Nashville over here and let's just sort of pick Nissan Stadium, home of the Tennessee Titans. And you can see how you've got this nice dual panel thing going on. You can also zoom in, drop a pin, and let's go into this street view mode, which can then also be full screen. Look how nice and smooth these animations are just a really solidly well-made app now. How about Gmail? We're in my spam folder now because I don't want to show you anything that's actually a real email, but from there I can show you emails on one side, actual email text on this side. I don't think I've got it installed on here anymore, but Outlook is really similar to Gmail, takes really nice advantage of the large screen. Here's another app that I use every day, Google Tasks. Let's hit the plus button here and let's just type in new task and save and you can see exactly how this works. You can jump in, add details and do whatever you want to do. It is mostly just sort of stretched across this screen, but sometimes that's perfectly fine. I still find that it does a good job with what it's supposed to be doing, but there's also another option and that is Microsoft to do. It's a very similar app, but I think maybe a slightly better looking app and you can have different lists for your different to do lists. You can jump in here and see all the ones that I have already completed, adding notes and so forth to this. And again, same thing. You can have additional steps, different details, files, notes added to it. Both really great options for a sort of to-do list on these larger screens. In terms of photo editing, what about Adobe Lightroom? This is a really great way to edit your photos, to touch things up 
on a larger screen device like this. You can see all of your tools here to the side, and there are a ton. Some of them you're going to need to actually have a subscription to use, but maybe you're someone that already has these Adobe subscriptions, and you're good to go. But you can see all these different filters and so forth that are going to work all the different ways. You can kind of tweak these images, brightness, white balance, on and on and on. It's a very feature-rich photo editor. It looks great on this big screen. What about for videos, though? We do have something like Luma Fusion, which, guys, it's basically a full-fledged video editor that, just look at this. It looks like I'm video editing on a desktop computer, but I'm not. I'm on an Android phone slash tablet. Works fantastically well. Like I said, extremely feature rich. You can pretty much do anything here that you could do on your desktop computer. Here's one that actually really frustrates me because it's so close to being great. This is Google Play Books and you would think, hey, this is already pretty good, but I want to have two columns and you can do that here. But you only get it when you're folded so far in. You have to be about this far in to get the dual column. You'll see as I get just a little bit further out, it switches back. And this is just too far folded. I'm rotating. This is just too far folded to be a comfortable reading experience. Let me be dual column all the time. And I will tell you that this is an amazing reading experience, but it falls just short for me. Although there is another reading app, uh, Kindle, namely, that does allow you to do exactly that. You can go in to these layout settings and change it over to the dual column layout. And at that point, you've got this nice animation and everything. Absolutely a fantastic reading experience. Google Calendar is also a really nice application on these large screens. Very, very easy to read. And of course, if I select something, you can see how this nice animation reflows. You can jump in, it goes dual panel. Just a really well-optimized app. One that I've talked about before is Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Office applications, whatever you want to call it. As you can see here, super, super easy to create a document with these templates. Really easy to go in and edit these things and do whatever you need to do. It's quite well-optimized for a device like this and there's lots of stuff that you can do that you would expect to see on a proper office you know editing word processing application you can do it all here while i tend to still use cx file explorer just for the familiarity this application explore does work really well and of course it does have a dual panel layout which makes kind of triaging your files just that much easier of course it can also access things wirelessly like your wirelessly shared or network shared i should say files from your computer and of course the biggest thing is again it takes advantage of that larger screen. And last but not least, I kind of want to touch on a couple of applications that don't have great layouts on this screen, but if you install them as a PWA inside Chrome, I'll drop a link down below on exactly what I'm talking about there, they end up working really well. So let's go to Twitter or X, whatever it is you want to call it. This is again the PWA, and it's fantastic like this. It works exactly as you would want it to work, takes advantage of the screen size, this is exactly what they need to roll out as their tablet app if they ever decide to stop being lazy and actually just do it. This layout already exists. Ship it on the app. And another one in the very same situation is Reddit. Using the Reddit PWA gets you basically the desktop layout, but you're going to get it on this screen. Works quite well in my estimation. I do wish I could get rid of that bar up at the top. For some reason, that wants to stay, whereas it does not do the same on Twitter. But... This to me works better than any application in the Play Store. There you go, everybody. That is 18 applications that I use on a regular basis that I think work really well on the larger screens, either on a foldable, foldable tablet device, Pixel Fold, Z Fold, OnePlus Open, or in fact, just on a traditional Android tablet. If there are some that you really think should have made this list, drop them in the comments down below. Help spread that information. Why do we use these large screen Android devices? Again, let's help spread that information around and improve the experience of other people who may be watching and reading in those comments. Guys, subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.